Welcome to JTEC and Grow Troubleshoot IP Configuration 2. So this is the second uh, step or second phase of troubleshooting IP, IP configuration, second lap. So you can read all that above. While completing this lab, use the following IP addresses. So we have been given IP addresses to use to troubleshoot and complete the task in this lab. In this lab, your task is to complete the following for, uh, to help troubleshoot the issue. Use the ping, IP config, and trace it command from the above computers. So straight away we go to let's start with the executive. Let's start with the exec computer. And we go right click on start and go to terminal admin. And run a ping command. Let's run the ping command for the first IP 192.168.0.10. It was unsuccessful. Let's run ping command also for the next ping one nine eight dot two eight dot two two five four. This also was unsuccessful. Let's ping the next. So remember, you can either ping the IP address or the address name ping it it's case sensitive so make sure you use capital letter when you have to it admin this one was successful zero loss ping exec this also was successful which means uh, the executive computer is able to ping the IT admin and the executive computer itself, but it's unable to ping the cop server and the ISP. That's the first thing we can see from here, from our results. So let's head to the cop server computer cop server let's open powershell as admin let's try to ping Let's try to ping the COP server itself. Ping. Sorry, let's try to ping the ISP. 198.28.2.254. So we're able to ping the ISP on the COP server. The ping was successful. Let's run the trace set command. Trace set 198 
dot two dot two five four over four hops which is also successful so we can see the prompts so they said we should use the we should use the exhibit to answer the questions let's open the exhibit let's see question one after looking at the exhibit and the result of the traced command from cop server so we've seen the result of the traced command from cop server to the isp we have uh, done trace it for isp on cop server which of the following ip addresses is assigned to the it's assigned to the building a network router so this is building a network router 192.168.0.5 which is this one okay and let's close the exhibit for now and next let's go to ita admin it admin and ping all the ip addresses and see which one will be successful and which will not be successful <laughs> so we ping 192.168.0.10 it wasn't successful let's ping the isp ping 192 one nine eight sorry dot two eight dot two dot two five four it wasn't successful so one thing we can realize here is the IT admin and the executive computer they are unable to ping the ISP and the COP server we should take note of that so let's try to ping the IT admin itself it's successful and let's try to ping the exec computer it's also successful so the IT admin and the executive computer they are able to ping themselves but they cannot ping the COP server and the ISP so we should take note of that okay and let's see the next question let's see the next question it says which of the following best describes what you learned from the ping traced commands ping and traced commands performed on each computer the switch connected the switch connecting the network to the ISP is probably 40. Let's see. The the router in building A is probably 40. The connections from building A to the ISP are working. The IT admin computer can ping ISP, but not, no, it cannot do that. So we can see that the connection from building A to the ISP are working, definitely. Connection from building A are working. okay building a is the cop server so from there let's see 
let's see the next ip let's run an ip config all slash all ip config slash all let's see the next questions mark all the observations you found to be true after exam examining the result of the ip config slash all command on each computer so what did we find we can see here let's check IP config slash all firstly we can see that we don't have any default gateway it's not configured and uh, and our IP address is automatically configured. It's automatically assigned. So the IP information for the Ethernet adapter is obtained from a DHCP server. And uh, the IP address is an APIPA not a valid IP address you can see that from the subnet mask 255.255 uh, sorry you can see that from the IP address 169.254 those are uh, when an address like that shows it's an IP IPA address so let's go to the next Oh, let's see the next question. Let's check the next question. Question four. Which of the following is most likely is the most likely reason the ping test to the uh, ISP failed from executive and admin but was successful for server of course the DHCP server is not as it's not assigning IP addresses correctly and uh, why can the executive and admin computer but cannot ping the I'm just trying to make this quick That's because both of them are using a people addresses. They are not automatically assigned. Okay, and that should be it for now. Let's close the this one and uh, check. Mm. Let's see it's time to fix the problem fix the problem that at the workstation so let's go to cop server <coughs> we go to cop server and uh, we'll minimize this click on cop server of DHCP double click on cop cop DHCP tools DHCP okay IP version 4 let's just expand from here IP version 4 and you can see this red 
I will zoom in. You can see the red dot here. It shows that this scope is not active. It shows that this scope is not active. You just have to right click and activate. It's now activated. So now let's go to the executive computer and uh, executive computer and uh, admin and check if they are working. Let's go first to executive computer. Let's run IP config. IP config. All. Let's check the network adapter. So now you can see it's no more on a paper address. And uh, let's try to pin. Let's run the pin command. Pin. Let's try to ping the COP server 192.168.192.168.0.10. So now it's successful. Let's try to ping the the ISP also 198. 198.28.2.254 and it's successful this time please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video let's see if we are done if we fixed it and that's it we are done with this lab see you in the next lab guys thanks for watching